Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is VGA9060 here with my inaugural figure review. Um, and this initial review is going to be for the DC Multiverse Catwoman and her likeness from the Batman Arkham City video game, uh, the sequel to Arkham Asylum. Now, this figure comes with constituent of the Solomon Grundy build a figure here. This is what he looks like in his complete final perfect form, if you will. Um, figure's gonna be pretty huge if you get all the parts. And then the other figures featured in this lineup here would be Batman, of course, titular character, uh, Ray Jal Ghoul, uh, and the Penguin. Now, um, I'm hoping that eventually we get more, well, Obviously, we will get more uh, figures from the Batman Arkham games. I'm hoping for uh, Poison Ivy, hopefully a Talia al Ghul, which they've made. It was a McFarlane. These are uh, the works of Todd McFarlane. They're very excellent works. But there was a different company a while back that made Arkham figures, and their articulation on them were extremely limited for their time. Uh, I remember specifically having the Talia al Ghul and her legs only tilted uh, up and down. There was no waist swivel at all and the arms were just very, very uh, limited for its time. It came with like a sword. The figure was very, um, not only toyetic, but also very aesthetic too for a female figure. Um, but I'm hoping that McFarlane does his magic and gives us a Talia Ghoul and a Poison Ivory, a Poison uh, Ivy, and uh, just more. Uh, and maybe like a Mr. Freeze. I think we actually have a Mr. Freeze coming out soon in one of the later waves, uh, as revealed on his um, Instagram page. But I look forward to more figures in the uh, Arkham series. Now that my spiel is out the way, this is how we do it here. It's going to be completely raw. I leave in all the raw uh, footage here. So you're going to see me cut and open the box. Um, there's no slides. All the ums and just unfiltered botches and everything is going to be in this video. And I'm a huge, botch, a huge Botchamania fan, wrestling fan. So we're just going to leave it all in. It, it might make for a more entertaining video. But let me stop going on a tangent here. This is my uh, box cutter here. I'm going to use to open this. Actually, we're not going to open it on camera. We're going to open it off camera. And, um, yeah. Um, and while I'm opening this in the background, I will put up some of the figures here that we're going to show when we get to the scale. Actually, you could just look at Spawn's Throne. Uh, came with one of the more recent Spawn action figures without the cape. Uh, just, it's a beautiful piece here. So we're going to open up the Catwoman as you all ogle that beautiful uh, throne of Spawn. And, uh, here we go. First unboxing. This is going swimmingly, isn't it? Uh, let me see. Uh, and off camera, I'm getting that, that sense that you have when you first open up a figure. Just a beautiful smell. Um, that new car smell, um, just, you can't, they try to sell it in the bottle, but it's just still not the same. Uh, let's get this figure out the box, and it has those clear things that kind of restrict you from getting the figure out completely. One thing it's like, it's like uh, do you want me to get the figure out? But, uh, let's see. Hmm. 
wrestling with uh, the plastic restraints here to get the figure out of her packaging. this was, how prepared I was to do this unboxing because I did not have scissors, I just had the box cutters. But nonetheless, we have finally gotten our Catwoman here out of her contraption and it shall be featured in three, two, one. One. And we're going to leave it alone there. This is the Catwoman outside of her box. Uh, so, very pulchritudinous figure here. Um, comes with a whip. Put the whip here in her hand. It's uh, just a beautiful figure, man. The sculpting. I mean, McFarlane right now is my favorite publisher of figures. Uh, number one out of everyone um, number two might be storm collectibles and um, number three um probably mattel i'm a huge wrestling figure collector you guys are gonna see that in later videos um but we got plenty of figures to review here and um oddly enough i'm not gonna open all of them not everything is gonna get open it's just gonna be me talking about the figure and um you know uh the likeness and the attire of the figure, what moment the figure represents. Now everything is going to be an unboxing. But I did want to unbox this one because it's just, I wanted to, uh, usually I buy two of each figure. Um, but this one is going to be the open one and the next one's going to stay in the box. So let's see. Um, these are her boots. This is our articulation. Got ankle there, ankle pivot. We got the feet, which are pretty stiff, so I'm not going to be able to move those. We got the double jointed knees. Go all the way back there. You could do that. Um, of course, we could do the splits. Um, you could do bow, you know. You could do a bro kick with her, you know, like Seamus from... The Brawling Bruce. Uh, we've got the diaphragm there. Moves all types of ways. You can turn her there. Um, we've got double jointed elbows. The wrist swivel, circular, what have you. And uh, both of our hands. Uh, we have hand there for if she wants to scratch the shit out of Batman and we have the open hand here when she wants to hold her whip and that is her beautiful face she looks honestly she kind of looks like Joyce Duet um from uh Three's Company to me she's kind of got that kind of look going for herself to me she has a little chain there can't see what it is and then the goggles it would have been nice if we got like a second hand sculpt where you could have the goggles on and let's look to the side there um, just super articulated. This is why I love McFarlane's works because you don't get a lot of the same molds like you would with a Marvel Legends or even Mattel with their WWE figures. Everything's all original. Everybody has a unique sculpt and just makes me wonder like, man, just imagine if he did wrestling figures like I have the Black Adam um, from the movie and uh, the Rock figure, well, the the, the likeness on The Rock or Dwayne Johnson to a lot of you new folks out here who might not remember him as The Rock. Uh, how do you not? But anyway, it looks better than a lot of the Mattel figures. I was just like, wow, just just imagine if this guy did wrestling figures or if he got the license to Mattel. But uh, let's look at the rear there. Um, all the pictures online on Instagram and on all the figure other figure people's reviews just accentuate the butt because it's pretty nice butt for a figure. <laughs> it's like uh, McFarlane went out of his way to just accentuate uh, her glutamus maximus here. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie. Um, so that's the figure there. Um, see if she could fit in Spawn's throne. 
let's see. Uh, yeah, she fits fine. Looks perfect. Looks really good there. Um, and what we're going to do now is bring in some other fitness to the fray just to get a comparison of how she scales with other figures. So, we have Asuka here, the Empress of Tomorrow. And then let's stand Catwoman up. We're gonna get some stands here for my other McFarlane figures. And um, she is towering over Asuka so far. Let's find those. Stands. I keep all my stands from other figures. I don't make fun of figures. So let's see. We're gonna go with spawns. And Oscar's Oscar takes a tumble. Um let's see. And there we are. And we have Catwoman there. We have Oscar here. She's towering over Oscar. And uh Let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, she is towering over Asuka. And now let's see how she stands against another female figure here. Another one of my favorite uh, female antagonists. Or, well, yeah. Catwoman sometimes an anti-hero. But that is the Baroness, who she also towers over. And um, so we got Hasbro here. Actually, let's put Oscar back in the fray. And yeah, so that's what it looks like there. And now let's see how she compares to the Catwoman uh, from the Batman movie that came out earlier this year, which is a pretty good film if you ask me which is really long um really really long almost harry potter film long i should probably grab a stand part too huh uh let's see uh boom let's put that in the pair. yeah everything's not polished here i'm like the don tony of figures um Don Tony and the Kevin, well, it used to be the Don Tony and Kevin Castle show, but now it's just Don Tony, and he's one of my favorite wrestling podcasters, so what is great about his stuff is that it's just raw, unfiltered, unpolished, you get what you, you know, you get what you look, and you know, what you, what you see is what you get with that, and that's how it's going to be with my favorite reviews, it's just straight up. Uh, unpolished and raw. So, this is how she compares um, to the Catwoman from the Batman movie. Same height, uh, but like I said, I love that neither of these modes are exactly the same. He could have very easily done so, because it's a Catwoman figure. She always wears the same suit with just a few minute details. Now that you you know that this is Marvel Legends, though. They would just paint on everything. And just the only thing even slightly different would be just a different head. But they all kind of have the same lineaments and eyes. Um, they all kind of look the same. But McFarlane really goes out of his way to make things uber detailed. And as comic accurate and accurate to the source material as he possibly can. And that's why he's my number one as far as the publishers. Um figures and what have you uh so that is my review of the catwoman from the arkham city uh wave of mcfarland figures uh i did notice that i left something out and that is the abdomen of solomon grandi uh which is also pretty accurate i mean it's it's a double-edged sword with these builder figures. Like I really wish that they had the abdomen swivel here, but it's just uh, right there. Um, 
at the waist, I guess you could say. But that's what the build a figure piece looks like. I'm not going to buy every figure in the wave. Because um, I don't like every figure in the wave. I'm not not uh, a penguin person. At least not from the game. I have no interest in the Batman. Because I already have the first uh, Arkham City Batman they made. Or Arkham Asylum. But uh, I do look forward once more to them doing more figures from the Arkham series games. Hopefully we get a Catwoman. I know we got uh, a Mr. Freeze and a Riddler from that game coming. But I'm looking more for some more, more of the lady figures here because they look really nice. Uh, and yeah, there they are. So this concludes this first review. There will be more. Um, I don't have much time, so we're not going to do them every day. But we'll see how it goes. I'll to try to see what I can do. And uh, thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.